Welcome, everybody, and we are fired up for another sensational college football matchup. Nobody at home today who can stake their claim in this neutral side showdown. Today, we have one of those games that test your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a squad from the MAC, the Ball State Cardinals, taking on the 11th ranked team in the land, a group looking to make a statement. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. The Cardinals will get this season underway as toe meets leather. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Okay, so here comes the offense for the first time today. And here's... I think this is a guy the offense looks to to make plays early. So if I'm the quarterback, I'm calling this guy's number a lot early in this game to go make plays. Really good job to pick up a chunk of yardage and get it out to the 39-yard line. Power football with the run. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the change for a first down. And that's back-to-back -back now. We've seen this running back get it done on their opening drive of the game. That last carry got the first down. So if I'm the offensive coordinator right now, I love the way my O-line's playing, and I love the way this guy's toting the rock. I'm going to give it to him again. And the ball is out. Who's going to get it? And he falls. few short yards and there was nowhere to hit it. They guess got hit in the backfield and brought the big fella down quickly. Takes it into the end zone for a touchdown. They draw first blood and that is exactly what you want to open the season with a drive like that. And that's why this offense is so hard to stop, guys. This quarterback using his legs at Sweaver. Rumbles ahead for a pickup of five to the 29. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll keep it on the ground. Cross the 30 out to the 33 and gains four on the play. Line is set on third down. Here comes the option. He'll toss it. Perfectly timed on that pitch, and they pick up the first down on the play. And the Cardinals will snap it on first and ten. The give from the gun. A most efficient pickup. Of... They'll try the right side. On the move at the 30. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with the first down. And the Cardinals want to move quickly. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. He will step out of bounds. But receiver now comes in motion. Trying to get the edge with a quick touch pass. Into the house. Touchdown, Cardinal. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. And if this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he gets you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so... And I think that's the difficulty being a play call. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put on the field, but I got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game. So a lot He's trying to throw the football downfield. Nothing there. So instead of throwing it away and getting the incomplete, just get what you can get and make snap it from the 32. He's going to pass. Quickly to the tight end. And a pickup of eight. Some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. They'll throw it on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, he's looking for a man on second down. Going to try to get it himself. 
He's brought down, but not before he turned that in. Get the sack, obviously, you don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. He gets it to the 38-yard line, and they'll pick it a little bit different. They can give this offense something to think about. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before the quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. Good job. Nice execution. First down. Forced out of the pocket. Driving for the goal line. Loose football. And the defense jumps on it, and they get that turnover. Everything broke down. The quarterback tried to bail them out, but he ended up making things worse when he fumbled. Yeah, I like the quarterback. To the line. Looking to move it through the air. Grabbed over the middle. It's Everett. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to get. Just get him the ball. Close to the line of scrimmage. Doesn't need to be a throw deep down the field. He's so... Looking for the end zone. It's caught. That's a touchdown. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up, and you keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. And second down, clock's running. He's looking to throw. Caught behind the line. It's Weaver. Makes a grab, and he's dragged down. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. He's trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. It's complete. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. He's looking to throw it. Pocket starts to... They've got the play bottled up. Fumble, it's out! Oh, it looks as if the defense got it. that is going to be key to the entire season for this offense. Might be looking to run. Open in the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown. Quarterback stays clean in the pocket on that touchdown pass. A little thank you is in order to the offensive line. This offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. Nice job by the defense there. They're trying to get to the quarterback, and you see those arms. They're flailing. They're swatting at that football. They're trying to get the ball out of the QB's hands. Those long arms by those D linemen, man. They were able to get that ball loose. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Not a lot of room down here. He's able to pick up two. Human beings, when you get near them, they're so big, so strong. And those guys, those running backs coming, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually... F and it's caught for the touchdown. I tell you what, when you give me that kind of effort, I'm going to find you more often. What a layout. QB throws the football a little bit in front of him. Had to dive and go make the catch. He lays out, secures the catch through the ground. Remember, got to catch it all the way through the ground. Nice effort by that receiver there. Quarterback on the keeper. He'll have enough to move the chains. It's first down at the 38. The Cardinals come to the line with a new set of downs. Wide out in motion. From the gun, running back on the move. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's set work to do if they want to convert this one. They'll run the screen. Dozes him. 
found a bunch of room and got it to the 44-yard line. And the Cardinals will hustle to the line. The execution on that screen pass is one that will go in a coaching clinic. Nice execution on the screen. Allow the rush to come upfield. Now I release, get the ball to the running back. I got my playmaker in space. Nice chunk yard. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. The Cardinals line up to punt it away. He ought to be able to use this first punt to pin him deep. And the ball will bat. They'll start this drive with a pass. Going for the big play. And he intercepts it. He'll try to take it back. A sweet return after the pick, and they'll have it at the 43. Man, what a great break of the football. Nice job. Boy, it's second and six. He's looking to throw. Caught near the sticks. It's Booker. And they finally get him stopped, but it's a big throw and catch, and he's down at the five. Defense just hasn't had an answer for this. Receiver shows motion. Quick pass on the fly motion. And he's into the end zone for a touchdown. There's no mercy rule in college football, man. They've got a huge lead here in the fourth quarter. They are still chucking it, and they are still scoring. Do it, and the referee's caught. Fast motion from the offense. On the run, it's Weaver. They get him down, but not before he picks up six to the seven-yard line. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Ball State. And I tell you what, I'm not picking a team. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. They'll line up right at the 48-yard line on first and 10. They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. Ain't second and 10. Quarterback keeper. Kept it, and he's past the marker. Hit the afterburners, kid. And no one is going to catch him. Cruz is into the end zone for a touchdown. This quarterback is such a weapon on these design QB runs. He's not trying to just go get first downs. This guy's a threat to take it the distance, and man, he did it right there. start the season on a positive note. You gotta love that as the players. You come out, you have so much anticipation coming into the season, finally getting ready to play in front of a live audience. You're able to come out and execute and get this win under your belt. David, couldn't be a better way to start the year. And for the losing team, obviously, it's a little bit different. You have something to look at now to analyze where do I need to get a little bit better, but plenty of time still left in the season to improve and turn it around. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.
this opening drive. Just get some points up on the board. If it was a little closer to the end zone, I'd say maybe go for it, but I'm playing conservative. On this one. The snap sets up the throw. Quarterback moving. And he barrels into the end zone for a touchdown. This defense has their hands full in this game because of what you saw right there. This quarterback is one of the fastest players to be on third down after that last run. Coming after him. Pressure coming. Couldn't find a man and just... On second down, he'll let it fly. Good timing on the quick out. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. As they come to the line on third and short from the 43, I wonder if they already know they'll go for it if they don't make it here. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They're a couple of yards short of the first down, but the offense will stay out there on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Quarterback now on the run, still looking. He's run out of bounds. And still get home. That makes you feel good if you're the deep coordinator. He'll pull it down and run. Nifty little... When things break down and they get off schedule, you've got to have a guy back there that can make the right... It's caught! That's a touchdown! This guy has been an absolute force in this offense early this season, guys. We're only in the third game, but he's already got three touchdown catches. Talk about a matchup nightmare for opposing defenses. to pass it on second down. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football and now they face third down. It's a draw. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. And the Gators come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They'll ride the hot hand. Able to, they missed a field goal on that last drive, but here on third down, they can't afford for this possession to come up empty. Unleashes one deep. And he was looking into the end zone, but it's incomplete. And it looks as if they're going to try a field goal. Oh, he missed it. No good. And after the miss, it's still a 14-point game. Rambles around, makes people miss, and the next thing you know, you look up and he's 20, 30 yards down the field, and there's nothing you can do about it. Fires into traffic, it's picked off. Got some room to run. He's inside the 40. He steps out of bounds, but not only does he get the ball back, what a return to... There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. He's got it. Huge game before he goes out of bounds, and now they've got it first and goal. And now a chance not only to cut into the lead, but play it just right. And make he gets it in! Touchdown, Gators! And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. the gun the running back looking for room he's knocked down in the backfield he'll lose a couple they'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal he's got it on the run he gets it oh so close to the first down marker but i think he's going to be a touch short they'll play it safe and send out the field goal unit 
smashes it between the uprights. Well, you're always going to wonder what would have, could have, should have happened on fourth and inches had they got. They're going to try to throw for it on third down. That pass not close as he got drilled, tried to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. And I like the aggressiveness on third and short, trying to throw the football, take advantage of a look that they got. They weren't successful, and now it's fourth and short territory. Who knows what they're going to do? He'll be content with the field position, making the field. Around the 30-yard line. The Gators sending the offense back to work. And to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse, they'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line, so they just need to be a little bit more crisp here. Dude. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points. Now they'll line it up from the 44 on first and 10. He's going to pass. He's got his man. Makes that one pay off, and they finally get him down at the 38. It'll be first down. The Gators want to move quickly. And after giving up that completion, guys, I wonder if the defense is going to decide to stay in zone or maybe mix things up a little. The receiver was doubled, and they picked it off. Not much of a chance on the return, but they'll have the ball at the 33. Well, the defense comes away with the pick there with their nickel personnel. I think moving forward, if you're on offense, when you see that personnel on the field, you want to run the ball against it because you got smaller guys out there. Or if you're going to throw, think about quick screens outside when you have tight ends flexed on the perimeter, bigger bodies blocking smaller guys. On the play, and this offense is in business. Inside the 25, they'll snap it from the 24. First down. Knew where he wanted to go with it, but couldn't find his target. It's incomplete. Great job by the defense taking away the quarterback's primary target on that play and forcing the incompletion. From the shotgun, they'll run it. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. I'll tell you, this defensive end, not only can he pass rush, but he can play the run as well. You see him beat the offensive lineman there trying to block him and get in the backfield to make that tackle for loss. That was impressive. Getting some heat. And the defense, they've got him at the 27. Yeah, and the deep. Starts from the 29-yard line. From the gun, running back on the move. He picks up maybe a couple before he stopped right at the 30-yard line. Dialing up a second down pass play. And the ball is picked off. And he is brought down, but what a way to finish this quarter with the pick. Works a little better soon. I don't know if I can quote the great Reese Davis. That was very ungood. Not a productive first down play. Trying to crease at the 20. He is brought down, but man, what a job to find some running room and move the chains. Just inside the red zone, first and 10 from the 19. Quarterback checking off. Wants to throw on first down. And he was shooting for the end zone there, and they... On third and long, he has to throw for it. Got some room, headed to the goal line. And he'll take it in for a touchdown. They tackle a little more. On Looking to move it through the air. Escapes trouble. Fires deep toward the end zone. He was open, he had it, and he dropped it. Would have been a touchdown. Instead, it's second down. They go to the draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. On 
on third and long. He's going to have to throw for it. Got a man in the middle. They'll finally get him on the ground, but not before he makes it to the 30 and gets a first down. Here's the handoff. At the 20, he's got space. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. And the Gators want to crank the tempo. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. He's got it on the move. That completion will take it close to the five-yard line. They'll mark it at the six. He's looking to throw. They're bringing heat. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. And the D deny them on second and goal. He's looking to throw. Got it set up on the outside. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play. Able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Looking for the score. And it'll be intercepted in the end zone. And that's such a great job of seeing the play, seeing it unfold, breaking on the football, making the interception, and you will absolutely never forget getting that first career INT, that big play, that big moment. Have zero timeouts left. You cannot stop the clock right now if you're the defense. So this has got to be excruciating for them. They know the offense is just going to take their time before they snap the ball. Now this team has consecutive wins. And when you start expecting to find ways to win games and you expect that you'll perform well enough to do so, it, it, that's really hard to stop. It's a mindset, Reese. This team has it right now. You can tell their players trust each other. Big situations arise in games. They're looking at each other in the huddle on the sideline, expecting to make the play that's going to help them win games. This team incredibly mentally tough right now, David. And you start to build that mental toughness when you start to string together positive weeks and you start to string together positive plays. Now you know you can do it. It's not... We talked about it in the offseason. Oh, we want to do this. Now you're starting to execute it and put it together on the field. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.
Change of pace now looking to throw the football. Grab down the middle. It's Booker. Brought down, but the completion moves the ball inside the 10-yard line. Defense getting pushed back. Boy, a nice drag route here, and I thought the patience by the quarterback was the key. Puts it in front of his receiver, gives him a chance to make the catch, and picks up a little bonus. Nice yards after the catch. It's a quarterback keeper. And he picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. Oh, I love the toughness of this quarterback to be able to pick up some good yards like this, move the chains, keep this drive alive. His team will feed off of his energy when he makes plays like this. They'll try to run it in on first and goal. The junior able to bring him down quickly. A pretty good push up front here by this offense line to get some positive yards here. You wonder if they're going to be able to run it in or they're going to have to spread this defense out and try to find a one-on-one -on -one matchup to put the ball through the air for the touchdown. Nowhere to go. The ball knocked loose. Offense recovers the fumble, maintains possession. So a timeout is called. Just a few seconds left here in the first half. Timeout by the offense. So the offense looking to be efficient here. Not much time remaining before the end of the half. Quarterback pre-snap adjustments now for this defense. Trying to throw for it on third and goal. Stock short of the end zone. Spot the ball at the two-yard line. Meadows going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Gentlemen, what else is new? A really raucous environment there in Ruston. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. Either way, it's time to find out. Back to the best in the biz for the start of this third quarter. First and goal right there. They've got a first and goal. The offense a great chance to break the tie here late in the game. And tackled there by the defense. All right, second down and goal now for this offense. It's now second and goal. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. Trying for the end zone, running it right up the gut. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. Urgency here in the fourth quarter. They must cut into this lead. It's third down and goal. And they're trying to punch it in here. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. So on fourth down, here comes a crucial field goal attempt. And it's good, right down the middle. Well, you're talking about a clutch kick. Good job by the snapper and the holder and the kicker. Gives them the lead. But remember, this one is certainly a long way from being over here in the fourth. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. Fields it inside the five-yard line. He's got some daylight turning on the speed. They get him down, but he found a good lane in that return. So the drive starts with pretty decent field position. They'll run it from the gun. Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. A running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. And then first down, right back to the running game. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. That ball snagged for a completion. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. 
Need to pick up something here in third down. A field goal try here will be from 58. Toss play to the outside. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Fourth down now. Time for perhaps one more play before we hit the two minute warning. We reach the two minute warning now. Can this offense come away with a late comeback victory? Needs a completion here on fourth down. He'll take a deep shot here. Oh, that one's picked off. I get wanting to be aggressive, but down late in a game like this, that's a throw you just can't make. And now, you're probably not going to get the ball back. This could end up costing him the game. The linebacker shifting around now. The offense is backed up here, beginning in the shadow of their own end zone. And this one goes nowhere. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. The quarterback making some changes at the line. Handoff as they try to work the clock here. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Scrambling, now he'll make the throw. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Looks like the quarterback will just take a knee here. Well, a really entertaining game. Kirk came right down to the end. They made the clutch plays, and that made the difference. Well, we knew these teams were fairly evenly matched, and you really saw them go back and forth, straight blow for blow. Excellent team win by these guys, doing what they had to do in the final quarter to come out on top. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.